guys and welcome back to my channel. Sorry I did not get my regular scheduled Sunday video up for you guys. This past week was super crazy for me so I just did not have the time to put into a video the way I would like. But today, so it's sort of to make up for that, I am hoping to get out two videos to you guys this week. And starting that, uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, I am going to do the three marker challenge. So I have here inside of this beach bag all of my Copic markers and I had thought about adding in like my pro markers and my Prisma colors. I don't really have a lot of them and when I had them in the bag because I kind of like test run, did a little test run of it and I could feel a little bit of a difference of like which marker was which so I decided to go against that just because you know I didn't want it I want it to be like a complete surprise so in addition to having all of my Copics here in this bag that I'm gonna zip up and shake about I'm also going to blindfold myself just for added suspense but anyway let's go ahead dive in here and see what colors I get for this challenge I am terrified. <laughs> I am not happy about this. <laughs> oh no. So I pulled out, I, this is what I was scared of because it's like all of my Copics, like most of them are like pastel, pretty shades. And then I have like quite a few of the earth tones now, but this was not the combination. I, I was worried. I was worried I was going to get something like this. So I ended up with pulling B01 mint blue E09 Burnt Sienna and R08 Vermilion. What am I gonna do with these? I don't know. Oh god. But I guess this calls for some test swatching and I will go ahead and figure out what I'm going to sketch with these using my brand new sketchbook of Copic paper. Uh, marker paper. Copic, Copic paper. I don't know. I am not happy right now, but let's give this a go. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about what this, how this process went. And even though I, these were definitely not the choice colors I wanted for this, in the end, I, I'm pretty all right with them. Um, the annoying part, and I swear, every time I do a three marker challenge, this always happens. The uh, mint blue that I'm using in this video, like, it goes dry right at the end. So luckily, I was able to finish the whole uh, coloring process without having to resort to what I've had to do in the past, which was kind of ending up with a four marker challenge because I've had other markers go completely dry in the middle of a three marker challenge, which really, really is lame <laughs> to have to go through but i knew going into this challenge that i wanted to probably sketch a something small that way it would be kind of quick to work with these colors especially in a case where i got a pair that i wasn't super happy with so i ended up going with a little chibi mermaid which i still even at the sketching point which is something uh, this is something I've done new for this video is showing like the full process from sketch to inking to coloring. So let me know if you guys enjoy seeing the full process or not or just like the coloring process is your favorite thing to see or just the sketching and I'll figure out some new videos to do that way. But I, as you can imagine, it wasn't super easy to like blend all three of these colors together it was mostly the vermilion and the burnt sienna that were easy to blend together and then so i chose to use the blue a lot for like the mermaid skin tone and then the water in her little fishbowl 
but I would have to say, as you'll see towards the end of the video, I am pretty happy with how this mermaid came out. I think it's cute. It was fun to work on a little chibi character again, because I haven't worked on one in quite a long while. So I would say um, the thing I did like about this combination of colors was that it was complementary colors. So that is a good thing because of the blue and the orange of the vermilion. And then the burnt sienna acted as a nice sort of like shadowy red to add into the hair and parts of the tail, as you'll see later on. So, yeah, I, again, not, not, not my ultimate choice of colors, but I think I made it work. And I think the mermaid came out pretty cute in the end. And also, sorry for like the weird lighting situation. I was like messing with that a bit during this video. It kept sort of like changing on me. So yeah, sorry about that. But anyway, please do let me know like what you thought of me doing the three marker challenge. Have you ever done the three marker challenge? And if you have, definitely link, uh, like comment a link to what you drew either on Instagram or if you did a video of it I would totally love to see how you guys went ahead and tackled this challenge as far as other future three marker challenges I'll probably do them again just probably not re uh, like anytime soon I uh, the probably the mo the one I'll do Next will be the three watercolor challenge because I really do want to play around and see what I can get with that because it does seem like you can get a wider range of colors than you can with a three marker challenge. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. See you in the next one.